Hey there, it's Nathalie. Oh, it is day, I don't even have a clue what day it is. Weekday or Corona stay shelter in place day. Maybe 28, I don't know. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for coming to my channel. And uh, I had several of you ask about a cap that wasn't the ponytail cap. The ponytail cap was really, scrub cap was really popular. So uh, I've done a video on a scrub cap that doesn't have a ponytail and you can you know like put your ponytail out if you wanted to or if you're a dude this could work as a dude hat or a dudette either one okay so uh, I'm gonna put the pattern over on my hall closet you know I just want a little something something I to get the pattern for free you're gonna have to subscribe and uh, I'm not gonna spam you or send you a whole bunch of emails and flood your inbox and all that kind of stuff anyway stay tuned for the video I'm this is a real time so I'm gonna try to put some time marks in the description box below and I'm gonna ask you ahead of time if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe like share hop over to myhallcloset.com that's where I'm gonna put the the pattern and I will put the link also in the description box below so don't go away I have a new pattern for you. Uh, it comes on three pages with the written instructions. So there's A, B, uh, and then the crown. So C for crown, I guess. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to cut out A all the way around. Uh, and you're going to fit this. You're going to do the actual size on your printer. It's a PDF. You're going to do actual size on your printer settings. So And then there's also a one inch square that's on this sheet. No, on this sheet that will help you to gauge that your size is right. Then you're, on the B sheet, you're going to not cut this dark line. You'll just cut a little bit above that. You know, just cut, cut the edges like this. And then so that is going to match together like that. Hopefully I've got my, my lines kind of done a little bit better than I did my first time. And then tape that together. And that's going to be your main piece. Now, if you decide that you want a puffier cap, then add like an inch or an inch and a half, and then you'll do a gathering stitch to make it kind of bouffanty on the back. I think it's a little probably not going to work for that. Or if it's too, um, no, I'll just leave it like that, okay? And then this is going to be your crown piece. You've got two little mark things that you're going to want to mark here on your fabric. But we'll go ahead. It's going to take about 12 inches uh, length of fabric, a third of a yard of fabric. 42 to 45 inches and uh, uh, I'm not going to use any ribbons or elastic in this one. I'm going to do a little self tie, little sash thing and I'll show you how to make that. So the first thing I'm going to do, I have this uh, fabric is, I've already evened it off and so now I'm going to measure in two inches. You don't have to have one of these kind of fancy dancy rulers. You can just measure it and mark it with a pencil if you want to and I'm going to use my rotary cutter. You can use a pair of scissors. But I'm going to mark, measure it at two inches, and that's going to be my ties. I've got a nice new blade. I messed my blade up the other day. Set that to the side. Get that out of the way. All right, and then we're going to put this in place. Oh, on the fold. Let me do, turn this around. And I'm going to not use this whole entire piece because that would just waste a lot of fabric. So I'm going to bring this over to uh, like the edge, find that. I believe it's about 14 inches. I'm going to do this, in video, this video in real time for those of you who need that in real time. So I'm not going to speed through anything. So if you get tired, you can just fast forward, or I might time stamp this so that you can fast forward through all the, the little steps and stuff and get to where you want to be. I have this pinned in place with a fold of the fabric here. This is folded over about 15 inches. I've got a little extra. I probably could have done it at 14 inches. And then my crown piece is going to go on the fold here this way. Alright, so let's, I'm going to cut this using scissors. And 
and I'll come back and just nip that in in just a second. There we go. Now these are going to be fold lines for stitching. Get this out of the way. Alright, before I unfold this, I want to just, on the top, I'm going to nip a little corner, just a tiny one, tiny, tiny. And then on this part, not on this straight edge, but this on this curved edge, I'm going to nip a little corner right there too. Dink, like that. And then I will match those two edges together here in a little bit. The other thing I want to do before I move away is I want to mark this dot in the dip right there and on this side too. You can put a pin through there and mark that or you can just kind of eyeball it. It's fine. And I'm going to put a little dot right in here. That's my bottom. The top has a notch. The bottom has a little dot. All right, the next thing we're going to do is go to this uh, ironing board and press. There are two things we need to press. This is our strip for our ties, the two inches by the length of your, the width of your fabric. And uh, so I'm going to make sure my iron is warmed up because my iron shuts off when you turn it up. So I'm going to fold it. First thing I'm going to do is fold it in half. We'll press the entire length of that. Just in half. and then in half again. So what you're going to do, I'm going to do one edge and then I'll do the other edge. Uh, so I'm going to fold that edge where it's into the crease like that and do that the entire length. I just burned my fingers because my ironing board's hot. Be careful. And I'm trying not to get into my seam, uh, my first fold. If I do, it's not a it's not a big issue. I can go back and press that again. And see if I wasn't doing this in real time, I would just be speeding on past this and playing you some cool music. So now I just have to tell stories or something. Except I can't think of a story right off the top of my head. All right, I'm not going to continue to press that all the way down and have you watch me do that. So this one, now you can, on this side, you can either press it back toward you and fold in and go on this side with your iron. Or you can turn that puppy around and do it from this side. Whichever is easiest for you to do. 
All right. You don't have to do it just exactly like I do it. All right. So once you have this, you're going to fold back this end in about maybe a quarter of an inch and press that and then fold that back in again and again and then fold it together like that and press it again. You're going to do that on both ends. Okay, so this is going to be folded in half and folded in half again all the way down the length of your tie. And then once this is stitched, we'll cut this piece in half after it's completely stitched. Okay? Alright, so the other thing we're going to press is on this band part of the, the, the pattern. So we've got this part that's got the little dip right there or point right there and then it kind of dips in right here. So you're going to fold this let's step out a half an inch in on that line fold it out and press it and then you're going to do that one more time And so this is going to be our little edge that we're going to stitch down. We'll stitch here and we'll stitch here. You don't have to stitch on this edge, but you're going to want to stitch that. And I cut that in that point so that would lay in nice for you. And the same thing down here. We're going to do both sides of that before we go to the sewing machine. So I get that nice and hot so I can burn my fingers before, so while I'm showing you how to do this. So we're going to fold that in. Those little lines are about a half an inch. Press. And then fold again. And press again. Alright. There we go. Now we're ready to go to the sewing machine. We have both of those edges done. I'll get finish getting this ready. And we're headed to the sewing machine. I'm going to start off with uh, stitching the strap, and so I am going to kind of walk this in to get it started just so it doesn't bunch up on me. And I'll do a little reverse stitch across there. And then just close to the edge. You can see where I've got it folded. Don't get too close to the edge because you, you'll miss some of your layers. I'm going to fold this and take my two sewed ends together, clip that thread off, fold it in half, and cut it at the fold. 
All right. Then my uh, body of my cap, this little folded, funky folded edge with a little point on it and stuff. I'm gonna fold. I'm gonna stitch that close to the edge, and uh, then I'm gonna come back. And it doesn't have to be double stitched because it's all gonna be caught inside. And I can go ahead and while I'm here, catch the next, the next part, the, the other side. And then I'm going to do the same thing again on this edge. Just you don't have to do this edge. I just am. to load my bobbin before I do anything else. So I'm going to clip this apart like that. Get those extra threads off. Now I'm going to go load my bobbin. Uh, you don't need to see me do that and I will be back. On the long straight edge, not the curved edge, but on the long straight edge, we're going to turn it down an inch and a quarter. I'm going to press that edge and now I'm going to turn it under a, a quarter of an inch and and you can measure this if you want to to make sure you've got it like one inch or you can just kind of turn a little bit under quarter inch is good And I'm going almost to the end and then I'm going to show you something with this end that's hanging out uh, and hopefully I'm going to and I'm going to zoom in and hopefully you can get this this was the easiest way for me to figure out how to do this and I know that like as y'all are fixing scrub caps for yourself and for friends uh, you want uh, an easy way and a fast way and that's what I've that's what I'm trying to do. And since there's a shortage of supplies, something without ribbon or elastic, now we can put some buttons on here so that uh, for the mask. All right, so this is what I wanted to show you about this end. I'm going to transfer this pin just a little bit. So right here, I need to show you uh, on this corner like where you fold this up and it turns under like that don't nip off too much just a barely little bit like right here in this little corner from the fold because you've got to be able to catch this in the fold when you fold it back under let me show you
right there. I've got to be able to catch some of this so this does not pull out. Okay? So make sure that you don't nip off too much and that you get that fold in there the right way. And good luck on pinning it. There we go. Like that. It'll mind. Sometimes you have to convince the fabric that you're smarter than a piece of fabric. Let me get it up here so you can see it. All right. So that's how it's going to look. There's the little seam edge. I'm going to put another pin right there to hold that in place. How many pins do you need? I don't know how many pins you need. All right, let me back up. Oop, that's close. All right, so we've got the little ends pinned in place. Now, the other thing I want to do is measure in four inches. Now, you can get all, like, anxious about this and OCD about this. You can do this however you want to do it. You can measure. I'm going to put four inches here. This, again, this is not rocket science, y'all. You can go four inches from this corner. You can go four inches from here. Or you can go four inches from the stinking middle, okay? Just a mark, about four inches-ish. And we're going to put a mark with our little magic erase pen. That's, let's see what it says, a mark's be gone. And the same thing down here. I've got my little four-inch mark. And it's close. Now, my husband used to say, that's good enough for the girl I go with, and she's mighty hard to please. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go and we're going to stitch from this corner. We're not going to close this because our casing is, our, our little strap is going to go in there. We're going to stitch from this edge to this four inch mark, and we're going to back stitch. And then we're going to go to this end and do the same thing. We're going to back stitch here. And we're going to stitch to this 4 inch mark and stop. So now we're going to go to the sewing machine. Alright, I'm going to start in this corner. On the folded edge, I walked it, the needle into it. Now I'm going to back stitch. Get the pins out of the way. And I'm going to stitch along the edge. Get that one out until I get to that four inch mark. Now I marked my four inch place with a pin, not only just with the the marks be gone pin, but also a straight pin. So I know for sure where to stop. So there. And if you need, you know, after you make one of these and you decide it needs a little bit more and you want to scoot it up to a five inch mark, that's fine too. So I'm going to scoot down to this 4 inch mark and that's where I'm going to start on this end. You could turn it around and go from the other side, but I just want to do it this way. Back stitch. All my ends are still tucked in place. pins out so I don't stitch over them. Back stitch there too. All right, now I'm going to grab my ties. If I Oh, here they are, right here. Alright, so now I'm going to use this larger safety pin and I'm going to pin into the cut end, not the, not the stitched end, not the, not the stitched end, but the cut end of my tie. And it doesn't matter whether the, the stitch edge is up or down, that's not, that's not important. I'm talking about this stitched edge. Three. 
thread that in. And here's my four inch mark right there. Here's my four inch mark. I'm going to take my safety pin out. So I've got this much extra right there. I'm going to pull this back down and I can feel whenever that little tab, I can feel the fullness of where that tab is. And it's right, there's my mark and there's my tab right there. I can feel it in there. So I'm going to put a pin in that to hold to make sure it's going to stay in place. And just to make sure that it's in place, I'm going to give it a tug and make sure that I've got that where it needs to be. I'm do the same thing on the other end. Safety pin in, the cut end. Go here, you know what? I might have to do something different right there, just to do a little tuck or something. All right, this is my four inch mark. You gotta pull it past it so that you can get your safety pin out. All right, then I'm gonna pull back into it. There's my mark right there. I can feel that uh, the little strap. I can feel it right. There's the end of it right there. Tug it. It's in place. All right. So now I'm going to stitch it. So what I'm going to do on this, where that that mark was, that for that four inch, that's where that pin is. Take that pin out, and I'm going to do forward, backward, and forward one more time. Probably should have started from the other side. It doesn't really matter. to put this together. I have my crown piece, the notches on this end here, and then the little mark is right here. So what I'm going to do with that mark, I've got, this would be if you were having a right side and a wrong side fabric, this would be the pretty side up. On this one it doesn't matter because it's the same both sides. So pretty side up, and then this edge that we've got, uh, this is the wrong side, that's up and you can tell because that's where the folds are in, in the stitching and stuff. So we're going to take this and go to this corner right here where that dot is. Line that up and pin that. Now then, uh, you can pin all the way around or you can just like pin to find your notch. There's my notch. I'm going to match that notch. There we go. And this fabric has, there's places where it has more stretch, so some of the places you'll stretch a little bit and ease in as you go around. 
this is a little bit larger. It's like on this part up here, this kind of stretchy right here. This doesn't have a whole lot of stretch. The, the band part doesn't. I'm not going to pin all the way around, but you can pin all the way around and then just kind of ease in. And then uh, this is going to match up at this back side like, like that. But we'll, I'll, t I'll show you that when we get there. I have my dot at the bottom of the crown and this edge lined up. I'm going to back stitch. I just put a couple of pins in here and just kind of ease and stretch my way around this. I've got this, this back part and then the uh, let me pull that. and the dip, the notches in the crown are in place. And I'm coming to the end, and so I want to match, match that where they meet right there. And real carefully, as I come to the dip, I want to do some little back stitching. So I've folded those things out of the way. So several times back and forth. So when I open this out, that's what it looks like on the top side. Like that. Okay, trim that off. I'm going to serge the uh, inside. You can, the raw seams, you can serge it or zigzag it or use pinking shears or something like that. But I'm going to go to the serger. I'm not going to show you that. Okay, I've serged the inside of it. It's got that finished, and oh, I'm going to do uh, just a couple more things. One is I'm going to I'm going to top stitch this on the inside on the crown. You don't have to do this, but I'm going I'm going to, uh, and I'm going to add some buttons on there. And again, that's an optional thing. You can do that or or not. 
So I'm going to press my, not press, I'm just like finger pressing that, the surged edge to the inside to the crown part. almost done. Okay, this is how this little uh, cap turned out. Uh, top stitch the edge of it around the crown. This is the opening in the back. Uh, cinch it up to adjust it. Uh, short hair, a ponytail. You can poke a ponytail out of that if you want to. Uh, there's some room if you've got a little bit of hair, a little like a puffy hair, it'll fit. Uh, dude or dudette, girl or guy, uh, there you go. And if you want to put some buttons on here, if you can find buttons, one inch buttons or three quarter inch buttons, what you're going to do is fold this in half, measure down seven inches and two and three fourths inches in. These might work. They're not exactly the right color, but at this point, I think that our uh, people in the medical profession are not really, really concerned about that. Anyway, again, thank you for watching. Give me a little thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Hop over to myhallcloset.com and uh, grab the free pattern. I hope you enjoyed the real-time video. It was long. Thanks for staying with me. Bye.